Hey guys, this is Adam, the Duto, and I just wanted to do a quick video with a comb test. So when people bring their dogs in, they pet them all day and every day and they don't feel really any mats because they're kind of hard to find, but when you take a comb like this, we have to be able to get this through all of this hair. So do you see how... A comb isn't going through. So I'm going to have to brush this really good in small layers to the skin and hope that I don't run into any major matting that I'm going to have to shave out. But this comb has to go through their whole body. And you can't rip this through. You have to get it, the brush through first, get it nice and soft and flowing until this comb is going to be able to go through that. So some people at home don't understand why we have to shave a dog either fully or just some mats out. And they might look a little uneven sometimes. What are you look sniffing over there? What are you sniffing over there? Silly goose. But anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys the comb test. We can't get this through you, right Adam? And you don't like that. You're a sensitive boy. So we're going to brush him out really good, fluff him up, get him washed, dried, and brushed again. And we'll see if we can get this comb through him, okay? And then we're going to do his haircut, and we'll come back um, later on with a after video and picture. So we'll see you later. <laughs> Okay, we're back with Adam. He had his bath and his blow dry. He was fluffed and we got him tangle free just by brushing and combing him out and thinning any mats out that I found. So now we're going to comb him all over before his groom. Alright, are you ready? So see, this is gliding through just how you want it to. It's not getting stuck like it was. He doesn't really like his legs touched. So we go slow. Right, Adam? You're such a good boy. So now that he's tangle free, we can start the haircut. I think Adam gets a one all over. Mom likes him pretty long as long as he is tangle free. Especially with all the snow and wet weather, it's easy for them to mat up. So I know it can be hard to maintain, but also if you wash your dogs at home, make sure that you brush them and comb them before and after the bath. Because if you wash your dog with mats, the mats are going to get 10 times worse. Right, Adam? And doggies don't like naps. They want to play and live a doggy life and not have to worry about constantly being maintained. So if your dog mats up easily, sometimes it's better to just keep them on the shorter side. And like I said, if you're washing at home, don't forget to brush and comb. Okay, we'll see you in the after pick. Okay, is it recording? I think so. So we did the one all over Adam. We're just going to scissor him up and then do his head and he's going to be going soon. Right, Adam boy? Right, cutie? Right? Oh, oh you beautiful. I love this boy.
Okay, so Adam had everything done, bath, blow dry, brush out, comb out, nails, pads, feet, one all over. I scissored him up and now we're going to groom his face and his head. So here we go. We're going to do a zero on his head and start like that. I hope everyone can see. This way. Come here. Oops. Come on, we gotta show it in the camera. I know, you don't like it too much. You're almost done. Now you get to go home. There we go. That's better. Okay, you just got a little light trim. Let's do your ears and then I'll do your chin. And we'll thin, thin, thin. That handsome boy. Look how cute he is. Do you see yourself in the camera? Do you see yourself? Look at that handsome. He's so cute. He's such a cool looking doodle. We're gonna do um, an after pick and then we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Autumn. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can I pause? Good boy.